best independent community radio station, WVOX and WVOX.com worldwide for you and yours. And now, Whitney Media, 1460 WVOX presents Westchester Means Business with Marsha Gordon. Marsha Gordon is the president and CEO of the Business Council of Westchester. Now, here's Marsha Gordon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Westchester Means Business on this beautiful, sunny Monday. Happy to be here to talk about business in Westchester County, as we are each week at this time. And we're live today, so that you can call us at 636-0110 and always listen live on WVOX.com. For those of you who listen every week, we're here talking about the opportunities for business in Westchester, how to build business, what's happening with business, uh, what are some of the challenges and how businesses have overcome challenges? And we know at the Business Council that building business is all about marketing your business and strengthening strengthening your business. And that's why I'm so pleased to have my guest today. Uh, her name is Brittany Otsera, and she has joined us just last week as our Director of Communications for the Business Council of Westchester. Welcome, Brittany. Thank you so much, Marcia. It's such a pleasure to be here and even bigger pleasure to have joined the Business Council. And we're so excited for a lot of the great plans that you have for us and most of all for our members and the business community to strengthen business. Um, Brittany is a noted social media expert and public relations strategist. I know you've had great experience in developing and executing winning marketing strategies for businesses and brands, and you are a social media expert. So <laughs> if you're listening and you're not following us on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, be sure to, to follow us because there's already so many interesting tidbits that Brittany has shared with members. and really creating new opportunities for the Business Council of Westchester and for the Westchester business community. So a special welcome to you. Thank you very much. So let's talk about your background, Brittany. Tell us what you did before joining us as our Director of, Com of Communications for the Business Council. Well, I kind of have a, a mixed background. Some people might be surprised to know that I didn't actually start out in the PR and social media industry. I actually started out in news. That's what I went to college at Boston University for. I was a TV reporter, and wow. I worked for um, two different stations. I started out in White River Junction, Vermont, um, shuttling around my own camera, shooting, writing, reporting, editing my own stories. And then after that, I did the same thing in Brooklyn for News 12 down there. And, you know, you see enough crime, and you see enough uh, hardship, and you say, you know what? I think I'm going to step out of the news business and, and try to step into something where I can make a little bit more of a difference. And what did that look like for you to start making a difference? What is that? I wanted to go into the PR and social media end of things. Things were so excited, exciting and changing in that industry. And I said, you know what, if I can get in there and I can help businesses, companies, people, nonprofits market themselves. I can really help change things from the inside. And so that's what I did. And that's why we've, uh, we're so pleased you've joined the team at the Business Council of Westchester. My guest today is Brittany Otsera. She is the Director of Communications for the Business Council, just joined us last week and has already had a tremendous impact and working very closely with businesses just last week. We had a fabulous turnout for our seminar from for uh, women and minority owned businesses. That was such a great turnout. And I think one of the reasons why is because we did implement social media immediately for it. Uh, we started posting the events on Facebook and on Twitter and on our LinkedIn. But you know, it gets the word out, it gets the buzz out. People start sharing things and everyone wants to be a part of it. And you just see um, that exciting community come alive. 
Well, we're at what over over seven hundred Facebook Facebook followers almost. We're closing in on seven hundred, and hopefully that number will continue to exponentially grow um, as we start to bring in some exciting tactics. And Twitter has been growing with leaps and bounds as well. We're we're nearing thirteen hundred followers on Twitter, so it's wow. wonderful. Wow. So remember, if you're listening to us live, we're alive today on WVOX. You can. Call us and meet Brittany and welcome her. You can call us at 636-0110. And remember, you can always listen live on WVOX.com. I'm Marcia Gordon. I'm the president and CEO of the Business Council of Westchester. So, Brittany, when you worked as a news reporter, what was the most exciting story you ever had to cover? Well, I have to tell you, there were days um, mm -hmm. when I was there on crime scenes, like avoiding stepping, you know, in things in my high heels. So that was always exciting. Um, but I think for me, some of the most exciting stories were really those that I covered on small local businesses. And that's what kind of gave me a taste of the things that I wanted to do down the road. Um, it was so rewarding to be able to do a story on a business that had just started or a business that had overcome hardship and to give them that airtime that could really help their business grow, that was rewarding to me, believe it or not. And and I know that because people have told me that you really help their businesses. And one of the things that we've talked about in terms of you joining our team at the Business Council is that opportunity to work with businesses and to help them grow. And, of course, that's what we're about at the Business Council of Westchester, which I do want to let everybody know uh, that we are having a very special event next Thursday for uh, future members of the Business Council of Westchester and an opportunity for members to bring future members to our Circles of Influence event, which is going to be at the Brynwood Country Club in Armonk from 5 to 7 next Thursday. And there are going to be some wonderful incentives for new members to join the Business Council that night and for current members, and we have over 1,000 members, to bring a future member and share the benefits of of being a member of the Business Council of Westchester. So that's next Thursday night. And I think we should mention, Marsh, that one of those incentives is going to be a chance to win a social media training oh. uh, with me. And it's fun because so many business owners out there are a little bit um, – you know, intimidated by social media. And this is a great way for you to get your feet wet and get a Facebook and Twitter page going for your business. That's great. And we and, and we also may even put in an, as an incentive an airing on WVOX on Westchester Means Business. There we go. So, Brittany, just coming back to your background, I understand that you went to, to Boston University mm -hmm. and helped to revive the news show there. Tell us a little bit about that endeavor. Well, I love helping to fix things. I, I, I love being Miss Helper. So mm -hmm. when I went to BU, part of the reason I went there is because they had this great news program. So then you, you show up and all of a sudden there's no news program. Right. And, you know, it's a little hard to deal with. You know, you, that's what you went to BU for. So my friends and I, instead of complaining, we rolled up our sleeves and we started the news program back up from scratch. And we ended up making it an award-winning news program. Um, I was really, really proud that my senior year we won the Fox News Channel College Challenge. And we yes. got to be on Fox News for a story on eminent domain, which is such a hot button issue even still today. And and it was just so rewarding. And I'm glad to see the students there still carrying it on. You know, Brittany, I've seen you accept that award because I've <laughs> seen it on YouTube. That's right. And <laughs> it's it's really it, it's really something to that you should be very, very proud of because you really did a lot of great research on on the topic. And to be recognized by Fox News like that was absolutely thrilling. I was very thank proud you. of you. It's one of the reasons that I wanted to hire you. Oh, thank so, you. <laughs> congr so congratulations. So, so all of this experience in news media led you to PR and social media. Absolutely. And let's talk a little bit about that PR background. My guest today is on WVOX, Westchester Means Business, is Brittany Otsera. She is the brand new director of communications for the Business Council of Westchester. And you can call and congratulate her and meet her on, on air on WVOX right now at 636-0110. And remember, you can always listen live at WVOX.com. So, so talk about the PR end. You went from news to mm -hmm. PR. What did that look like? So I... So, you know, like I had mentioned, I wanted to um, start working from the inside out to help. And so I said, you know, PR, social media, 
let's explore that. So I um, connected with a, a company in Northern Westchester called Robin Leedy and Associates, and I said, I would love to learn the PR industry. And they um, thought to themselves, well, you know what? She could bring video in-house because I shot and edited my own stories. So I started out um, doing some you know, videos for them, for their clients, and it was just a great partnership. And I also, at the same time, learned the inner workings of the PR industry. And on top of that, it was such an exciting time for social media. A lot of businesses are switching from traditional PR to social media. So I really got thrown into really, you know, I'd always been on Facebook and Twitter, right. but I got thrown into learning how to really strategize and use how to Facebook and Twitter. It. And exactly. that's, what, that's what a lot of businesses don't understand. It's mm -hmm. not just about posting. It's about doing it correct and linking. And yes. I think that's one of the things that we're, that we're learning from you at the Business Council and that businesses are going to learn from you. Mm -hmm. So what what made you make that make that shift to to starting in news, going to public relations, and now working at the Business Council of Westchester? Well, in terms of, of the shift, um, then taking what I had learned in PR and social media and really wanting, I wanted to go out on my own and I wanted to be able to really um, make a difference in, in one particular organization. And I had a strong tie to the business community because I grew your, up around small business. Your family's in business, right? Exactly. You get it. And my dad and my grandfather, my grandfather owned a small newspaper growing up, which uh, ended up being bought out by Gannett. But I got to see that grow. And my dad owned a bar growing up, and he runs a bartending school. And there's a lot of struggles for small businesses. And I felt that passion and, and, and wanted to always help in any way that I could. And my husband runs a business in northern Westchester. So, you know, for me, it's just... Um, it hits home, and and the business community. I just really seem to click with it. I mean, instead of helping corporations, why not help help at home, help in your own backyard? And well, I think that's we important. are so excited to to have you at the business council. Brittany Otsera is Thank our you. new director of communications at the business council of Westchester. I'm so pleased to welcome her officially here on WVOX. Um, and we're on every Monday talking about business in Westchester County. I'm Dr. Marcia Gordon. And you can call us at 636-0110. So let's talk about mm -hmm. some of the things you're planning for us and our members at the Business Council of Westchester. What are some of the exciting social media tactics you're hoping to use here at the Business Council? By the way, you've already done a fabulous job revamping our e-newsletter the first week you were, you were on board. Thank you very much. Well, we want to keep revamping that and keep making that a really exciting integrative tool. I think that's the big word for me is integrating. You don't want to just do everything in a vacuum. Everything should come together and really complement each other. You know, you don't want to just be having your Facebook linked to your Twitter page, linked to your LinkedIn, and then linked to your Google+. That's boring. I like to look at each social media tool as just that, a tool in itself. So I'm looking at Google Plus and saying, you know what, it may end up becoming a big thing. We don't know. But right now, it does help you populate in search. And for every business listening out there, you want to make sure that you're doing well in your, your search engine optimization because that's going to put you up on top and help people see you faster. And you know what, then your phone will be ringing faster too. So that's one of the things with Google+. Plus. It helps you with your search. So what are we going to do with Google+, Plus? we're going to turn that into a business council blog. So Marsha, maybe you'll be blogging on there. I can't wait. Maybe John will be blogging when he takes a trip overseas with one of our business council trips that we do. Everybody's going to get an opportunity to blog, the summer job students, everyone. So it'll be great. Well, uh, more, more to follow. We have a break now.